Okay, so this is a brand new install of Raspbian and the icons look huge because I'm running it at 720 um, and I've overclocked to 2147 uh, if I go into boot, config text, uh, 2147 to so the highest the Pi will go at the moment uh, and this is a, an up-to-date version of Raspbian. So if I go into the browser, I've already signed in to Stadia so let's do a test and see how well it works. So if I press the A button on my controller now, you can see my Stadia controller is linked. And it's just plugged in with an ordinary USB A to C cable. So hit play. I'm running a wired internet connection. So let's hit resume game. Lean back, lean forward. Ah, it's still really laggy. So if I lean back, lean forward, yeah, so it's super laggy as you can see. I'll just accelerate over this jump. Let's get him into a position where he's going to make, yeah. So now he's not leaned back too much. And let's just hold the accelerator down and see what happens. Move the mouse out of the way. There you go. So it's it's very slow for some reason. I don't know why it, it doesn't work on this. Uh, because it's coming through the browser. I've got a wired connection. Uh, the browser should be fine at this. But there's obviously something that's slightly holding it back. But um, anyway, I thought I'd test Stadia and see what it was like. Uh, someone had asked me before. Because I could before now, I could only get it to work with Linux. And uh, because I, I figured it needed to be a 64-bit operating system, but this proves that that's not the case. Let's just hold the accelerator and see what happens. Oh, I need to lean forward, but I can't <laughs> because it's too laggy. Okay, so Stadia doesn't work, so let's quit out of that. Exit game. And skip survey because it's not really Stadia's fault. Uh, so let's quit out of that. And uh, I figured I'd cover from yesterday's video with Cinnamon. Uh, I figured I'd put something else on here. So let's just change the resolution back. Because I don't really want to run in 720. And let's pop it on 1080. And this is a fresh installed Raspbian because... Uh, my previous video where I was installing uh, various things, I'm just installing tasks. Oh, tasks that was already installed, is it? Oh well. So I yesterday installed Cinnamon and that worked very well. Uh, today I'm installing Mate. Uh, so let's hit OK. Ooh. Maybe I need to do it as sudo. Yeah, that's what it was. I had a message to say that the Wi-Fi stops working on Cinnamon. Uh, all in caps, warning, breaks the Wi-Fi should be the first thing mentioned. Well, I use a wired connection, so I didn't know anything about this. Uh, and I, I generally always do a wired connection with all my Pi builds. But uh, there was in the uh, comments, Anonymous, who gave me the tip first of all, uh, had said, uh, I just check, double checked to make, it returns fine, but adds another network connection manager. So whether there's two Wi-Fi set up uh, options on Cinnamon, I haven't tried because I've, I've actually cleared off this stick because I put several things on there and I had this weird problem where it would speak every single uh, thing that I clicked on, like an accessibility option. And I've had this on TVs before uh, and on Windows computers where if you hover over something, and actually the iPad does it as well, if you hover over a word, it speaks the word. So if you go to a menu, it speaks the whole menu. I couldn't find any way of turning it off. I booted into uh, Raspbian and back into Cinnamon and both systems I couldn't find such an option to turn it off so because I was just experimenting with this I've just cleared off the stick and this is the new fresh install of Raspbian so it's only got Raspbian on here I've only done the, the little stadia bit that I did at the start of this and uh, and it's now going to have mate on it so I'll try mate uh, and see how that goes so now let's get the bit that switches operating systems so if we go to my video And if I go to the description. Okay, so I had some comments on the. Just pause myself. 
Uh, so this one here. So let's copy that. Paste it in here. Sudo update alternatives config x session dash manager. Uh, and you can see, if you want to go back to Raspbian, you just need to select zero from this section. So number two is mate, so I'm going to press two and return. And now we just do uh, reboot. There we go. So let's go up to the top. And in fact, let's just change this background first of all. So, browse network. My NAS drive shows up nicely. And somewhere on here. Yeah, I quite like this. So let's copy that, pop it into my downloads folder. And then Oh, actually desktop you can do on the here. Yeah, change desktop background. Add downloads open. There you go, that looks a bit nicer. Uh, and also the theme is a bit sort of pasty green for me. Uh, and I did try this uh, yesterday when I was messing about. So is it under this preferences yeah quite like the way they've done this so applications on the left and again it just pops up as you scroll over it which is nice you can see it's added uh, Firefox which isn't in the normal Raspbian uh, setup so there's a few things it's going to add when you when you change any uh, any desktop environment so home folder desktop you can see my network folder is showing up there as well, a little search tool there, which is nice. So preferences, look and feel, appearance. And I did see on this, I, I quite liked this one. I thought this was a nicer background. So, um, but also if I go to get more themes online, now I tried a couple of these yesterday and they didn't work. Now I guess what it probably is, is because most of them are for an x86 computer, not for a an ARM computer. Um, but uh, there's probably a way of doing it. So, so we go for themes. I'm not sure if I need to do two or three, but just to show you what sort of thing comes up. And I did see a nice looking uh, Mac OS one, and I thought this one looked nice as well from the thumbnails. As I say, I did try and install one of them, and uh, it didn't work. Yeah, I thought that looked quite a nice one. Um, but uh, but let's not go through that. Close that down. Close tabs. Close that down because that's now here. And these icons are a bit drab as well, so I would probably go in and change that. But I like the whole layout. I like uh, all the folder management and everything like that. It's uh, it's pretty nice looking. Pretty straightforward to understand. Feels nice and snappy. Feels a bit faster than Cinnamon. Click here to restore hidden windows. And these are alternative desktops. Up here, what have we got? That doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if the sound is muted. Desktop. Paisto Micon. Ah, Menu. So, Mute. Right, so that's not the... I don't think that's the ordinary volume. Right, so you can see now that we're on mute. This is what I was talking about yesterday. This was... Desktop. I had this for ages. Paisto Micon. Applications menu, accessories menu, Debian desktop, Paisto Micon menu, mute. Now it would be very handy, obviously, if you couldn't see. Um, so it's a you know it's a great option to have there. But I, it, is this just an accessibility option? It just looks like it's an ordinary sound setting. So let's go back in, and we're going to Chromium, and we'll just try something on YouTube and see if we get sound. Not Stadia. I don't want Stadia. Uh, I like Stadia, I just don't want it in this particular test because it'll be a bit slower. So let's go YouTube. I might as well go for me because I, I don't need to blot anything out then. So to be fair, this is just to check sound, so let's put this on. So sound is up there. Mm. 
muted. Let's try the little trick where I plug my sound card in and unplug it and see if that works. My little 99p sound card. So plug it in, let it pick it up and unplug it. Space. So, that, so that is definitely sound. Menu. It looks Mute like if, check menu. if you have sound on, uh, it's fine if you're not moving anything around. Uh, but if you have sound on, it looks like it enables that uh, that voice control. So if anybody knows how to get rid of that, that would be much appreciated. It must be a setting because obviously it's an accessibility feature. Um, but uh, but let's just, while we've got it up here, so I've got it muted now because I don't want it to, to read everything that I've got. So let's just go through the whole lot. Well, most of these are going to be things that you're going to see in Raspbian. They're just going to be a little bit different. Uh, in the icons, but the actual content is pretty much the same. Obviously things like this, make color selection has been added. Don't know what Dillo is, a lightweight browser. So we can have a look at that. Uh, Internet Dillo. Oh, it looks like a, a very lightweight browser, is it? So we've got search here. <laughs> Gosh. It's very basic looking. And the pie doesn't need to go as, as, as low and as basic as this really now. Well, that doesn't seem to have selected anyway, uh, because actually it runs Chromium very, very well. So, Internet Office Programming. Let's have a look again at file management and also settings. So hardware, displays, how does that come up? So it adds Synaptic Package Manager because that wasn't on there before. This is the ordinary one that comes with the Pi, as you can see, uh, with Raspbian rather. Uh, but you also get Synaptic and I like Synaptic. I find it a good way of installing software and I found that it installs all the extra components, which is nice. Control Center. So that's something which doesn't show up like that, I don't think, on Raspbian. Hardware, internet. Yeah, I like it. But obviously there is an issue because if I unmute monitor it. Monitor preferences, monitor. Samsung electric menu. Mute check. It does all of that. So if someone knows how to disable that, because I think I, I, I could use this on, um, on a Raspbian build. I don't know if it feels quicker or if it feels about the same. Raspbian does feel really quick now with all the updates it's had. I think I prefer the overall look of this a little bit. Not so much these icons, um, but but we can change that. Okay, so uh, if we want to go back into Raspbian, what we need is to go for the terminal. So if we do Control Alt T, get a terminal up. We've already had this in here, so we can just press the up arrow and you can get the sudo update alternatives uh, config X session manager, hit return, uh, hit zero because the top one Start LXDE dash pi is the standard Raspbian one. I'm not sure about these priorities here, why some of them have got a higher priority, because this says priority 50 on mate. I don't know what that quite means, because I figured that once it's, once it's running a system, it's running it. Uh, but so now if I do reboot, and we're back with Raspbian. Oh, and I haven't got the, the audio thing happening. So have I got sound? because yesterday it affected the Raspbian build as well. So let's just see what happens if I click on that. Am I going to get sound? Oh, I can see it's muted at the top here. Space. Yeah. So if I click on it. Menu, programming menu, office menu, actual document viewer, view multi-page. So you can see that um, doing this uh, does something weird to your Raspbian install as well. Uh, so don't do it on your main build. And uh, I don't know how to get out of it. If someone knows, please leave me a comment. People are great in the comments. Uh, but I did have quite a long look yesterday and Menu. I just couldn't come across it. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.